So I'm going to try to speak slowly for the translators. Um, I can also do French. Uh, je parle à la fois français et anglais, mais désolé, pas rap. So today I would like to introduce you to the wiki, the wiki contest, Wiki Loves Africa. This is the contest that has been running for several years and I wanted to take the opportunity of Wiki Arabia to promote the contest in your area of the world. Why are we running a photographic contest? This contest, we decided to run it back in 2014. And the reason why we wanted to run it was double question, double reason. The first reason is that we felt there was a missing photography in the Wikipedia project, in particular to illustrate topics related to Africa. So not only Arabia area, but the entire continent of Africa was uh, unfortunately not enough represented in the Wikipedia article. And it was not only a question of illustrating articles related, for example, to an Algerian city, but also making sure that even in very generic article, there would be photos not only coming from Europe or from America. But there was a, so the, this is the statement from the, this Ethiopian photographer to actually outline how, how much it is important to have more illustration. But there was an, a second reason for us. Back in 2014, there were actually very few participants from Africa at that time. There were quite a reasonable number already in Tunisia, in Algeria, in Morocco, uh, and in Egypt, of course, for example. But there were very few people from, let's say, Tanzania or Uganda or Mali. They were not very numerous. So we thought, let's create a contest where people can very easily join. If they want to do a lot of things, they can do a lot of participation. If they want to simply add a picture, uh, share the contest on the social media, then they can do it. And this is how Wiki Loves Africa is born. Wiki Africa has been running now for seven years. So what happened during these seven years? What is the impact of the contest? First, we have seen uh, a variable number of contributors uh, the highest contributor, contributed pictures were in 2017 because there was a theme that people truly loved, that was people at work. And it worked pretty well in 2020 as well. Not surprisingly, it was complicated in 2021 because of COVID. Because to take pictures, you have to go outside. You have to go in the, in the city, in the street, in the buildings to take pictures of people. So 2021 was a complicated year, but we somehow managed. Um, we have um, uh, a number of contributors that is fairly stable overall, but has been uh, a, in large way, uh, contributors mostly, which are completely new to Wikimedia project. So uh, this is also a very recruiting process at the same time. In terms of figures, what have we collected? We have had over 70,000 images contributed since 2014, only on, uh, on the, uh, related to Africa. We had 9,000 contributors. And what is very interesting is that we have a very large use rate of these images on Wikipedia article. And this results in over 23 million times per month images from the Wiki Loves Africa project has been uh, viewed. And you might wonder why the continent is partly red and partly grey. So the reason is, in every red area, uh, there was a contribution from a user group, from a group of Wikimedians that were specifically organizing events. Uh, this might be training sessions to understand creative com oh, creative commons. Uh, Wikimedia Commons or Creative Commons licenses, by the way. It could be a photo walk in the street. It could be editathons uh, to upload uh, photo uh, upload sessions, and it could be ceremonies for the winners. In the other countries, which are in grey, we have had contributions as well, but they are yet uh, user group to show up and to really truly uh, come uh, active in the in the contest. So these are roughly our figures. 
Uh, and what is important is to understand that every single year we change the theme. For 2021, the theme was health and wellness. This was every, every entries that were somehow related to this topic. And the contest run right now every year between February to April, roughly. So it's about a two months long process. And those are the figures we had, for example, for 2021. Uh, you can see around 8,000 entries with about 1,000 articles. There were entries um, collected from 47 countries, which is fairly near 54, 55. Uh, and we had 33 events being host, uh, uh, hosted by uh, groups. <coughs> and you see, in terms of new contribution, we, it's a very sa stable figure with about 75% uh, percent participation uh, every single year. Uh, 75 new contributors every uh, this year. Uh, the winners, I wanted to briefly share those pictures with you. Uh, this is the picture from the first winner of a woman in hospital with a kid. Uh, I, we, are, we were actually asked not to mention the name of the country where this, take, uh, this picture was taken. Uh, the second uh, picture was this very funny picture of a woman taking a training uh, for against malaria and she had her kid in her back because yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, we had this third uh, uh, image which is from a very active regular participants uh, from a pupil washing hands. We had a super cool video, um, video, yeah, video. Uh, I invite you to, to, to look at it. I'm looking at time. Maybe we have the time. It's not very long. Okay, it's not working in the big blue button, so uh, we will have to skip that. But there is a, the URL uh, accessible at the bottom of the image. That was a video um, made by Bubakam, and Bubakam was actually also the winner last year. So you need to be aware we also have a specific price for video during the contest. And this one is very good. And um, the last the last prize was uh, an image for traditional culture, which we also run every year uh, by Kegara Gavin Rack. Il y a quelques pages qui ne figurent pas dans ce projet. I'll go back to the question just afterwards to show you. Uh, the last thing is we had also a special prize for Cameroon with a collection of images. The Cameroon team had the opportunity to enter uh, a lack a hospital in Cameroon and they were able to take a wall collection uh, of pictures in that hospital and for the record they are currently running a photo exhibition in that very same hospital who welcome them to to do their ceremonies uh, the organizer I'll go briefly over that there's Isla who is unfortunately missing today there's Seslaus from Nigeria and of course, there are all the countries, the user group, which are more specifically participating in organizing local activity. So, of course, in the past, we have had uh, Wikimedia Algeria is there. There's Wikimedia Tunisia somewhere. Uh, the Egyptian Wikimedians are here. Morocco only participated one year, but I hope very, very much that they come back in the future, maybe after COVID is, is done. Uh, and you may see some other logos and not all of them are actually on the screen. Um, the MENA region has, uh, has actually uh, been historical partners with participation in several former uh, contests. And there was even a year where the, where the Egyptian in particular uh, took over most of the prices. That was uh, in 2020, it was very we had absolutely amazing content from them. So you may see some of the picture from those winners at that time, uh, again from 2020. Um, the last element I wanted to point out is uh, we, uh, at Wiki in Africa, we run a vodecast every single month with different themes every year and uh, uh, every month. And this, the last, uh, the, the last episode in September was dedicated to meet the winners. So during that episode, which you can see there is the, the, the URL at the bottom and I can share it with you afterwards. 
there is a, a, a collection of people who were interviewed. There were jury members and there were some of the winners that were interviewed by us to explain how they, they took the picture. And I really invite you to watch this episode. The future, um, what is being planned? What is uh, to be considered ahead? So the first thing is, uh, well, we are hoping very, very much that COVID would be better, but I'm not sure. It, it may not see so obvious when we see some figures running in some countries, such as the, uh, in Russia at the moment. So uh, I'm hoping that it will be better in, your, uh, in the African region of the world, but we don't know for sure. Um, we expect any suggestions from you. We are currently collecting all the information about 2021, uh, 2021, trying to figure out what went well, what didn't work so well, what was missing. So I see there is a question and maybe we can address that. The question is, Ilya, uh, there are some countries that do not, uh, that are not featured in the project. Is there a project to insert them in the campaign? So again, I would like to explain. Every African country is welcome to participate. And last year, 47 of them participated to the project. How are they called to participate? They, there is a, a banner at the top of every Wikipedia page in every African language during the time of the campaign. So even if there is no user group in, um, I don't know, Togo, for example, uh, there will, the Togo people will see the banner inviting them to participate uh, in the contest. And we also run some social media advertise promotion to try to uh, grab people and invite them into the contest so they can read, they can find out. And we are also always hoping to get some media coverage coverage in the, in the big newsletter or maybe in blogs or uh, in various places so that people will get to know. Uh, but on that matter, I must tell you, in particular last year, uh, there was very little communication in Arabic because there, was not, there were not enough people to help us translate. So if anyone is interested to help translate all the promotion pages and the communication, in Arabic, early 2022, please get in touch with us. It's, it's very important. Uh, Neham, uh, Adele, I hope that answers your question. Um, how can we involve more user group is a good question. It's mostly speaking. If you're a Wikipedian and uh, when you're writing on Wikipedia, you, you realize that there are some people from, let's say, Togo, who are participating and they are not joining yet the, to Wiki Loves Africa, talk to them about them, share the, share the idea with them so that they would maybe join. Uh, the important theme that we uh, need to talk in the next couple of weeks is actually the theme that we will be choosing for 2022. So every year we choose a different theme there were years where we dealt with, and I realized I forgot to put it on the slide, but we had cuisine, food, we had our traditional uh, clothing, we had people at work, we had um, uh, dancing and so on. This year we had health. <coughs> so we have um, dropped a few suggestions uh, on the screen and there is currently um, uh, a, a a survey that is being running where you can mention your opinion. Right now, if you want to, uh, if you want to go to Manti and use this code uh, to maybe vote for climate or natural resources or kinship and royalties, home and housing, education, sport and recreation, all the themes that have been mentioned in the past or mentioned this year and that we have not yet uh, dealt with. So we invite you to participate to this one. Um, so are there any questions that I could answer or comment? I think this was my, oops, to try to 
stop to the for to the side with the themes uh i have i think every every single of those themes is are nice themes um i just we i know we will take the final decision based also on the fact that unfortunately covid might still be around in three months from now Any questions? I see Adele is uh, writing. Les pages ne sont pas activées pour la traduction. Which pages, Adele? Which pages are not activated? Many of them are. Uh, so let me show you the main. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for helping. <laughs> Oh, but okay. That's this is the meta page is, but it's a good that, that's a good note. This is this one is the page for the organization, and it is absolutely true that oh in English because that's the place where we organize, and um, local user group they organize themselves in their own space if they want to, but this is the global organization. If and if we do it in several translation, it would be more complicated. So I think some pages could abs absolutely benefit from uh, being in translation mode. And I will. They, I thank you for the suggestions. I actually never thought of we, that we could translate some of the pages on Meta, but we definitely could do that. I agree. For the contest itself, you can find the link here, and here the page are translated. There are all the translation banners on every single of those pages, the theme, how to enter competition rules and so on. And as you can see, it was in English, it was in French, but Arabic for some pages was never completed or never started. But I take the notes that we could do something for Meta as well. That's a good idea indeed. So, for example, that was the, the translation for the main page. So, the main page here was available, but it was uh, not the case, for example, if I look at the, uh, maybe this one was because it's it doesn't change much. But no, see, it was this, the one about the team was not translated in Arabic. So, yeah. On the meta page, uh, you can, even if it's not translated, but I take the point, you can find uh, quite a lot of information about where to join, who are the, the team lead in the countries, which are the webinars being proposed to, come to help, uh, the funding options, as well as all the tools that we use over time. So this is in particular my, my, my area. Uh, the site notice work, uh, all those things are, are being listed there. And in terms of teams, you have um, a big table. Oh, it's here. Sorry. It's in the countries. You have the list of the countries which were participating in 2021 with the list of contacts points for each country. Any other questions? Just in case I put back the, the themes. Um, 
the yeah. other day I had access to a, a pool system there, but it's no more available. I don't know why. <laughs> I will uh, I will also pull the the poll the survey for the Wiki Loves Africa on at the top of the meta page so that you can more easily access it. What does the Wiki Arabia admin say? Adele, I thank you very much. I note your name and I definitely will get in touch with you. Yes. So normally we will start working on the pages for the, for the future version probably around uh, December, December or early January. So thank you very much for your attention and um, I hope I will see uh, you again early 2022. Shukran. Uh, thank you so much Mr. for your participation. Uh, uh, for all the information you give for the Kilo of Africa. Shukran Lakhi as Sayyida Florence, and I'm going to be able to get the Kadunti Hash of the Musabaka Wikipedia Hawa Ethiopia. If the Hunak, a Yusuad in Lugal Arabia, you would rather than you turn it in the language. Is there any question in Arabic? I would like to translate in English to Miss Florence. Is there any question, please? Thank you so much, Ms. Lawrence. Shukran uh, lakum jazeelan lakum ya Sayyid Lawrence. We'd like to see you in uh, future events. As long as you do it online, it's easier. <laughs> uh, Let me uh, very quickly drop the link to the survey in case, since I grabbed it. Yes, yes. سوف تشارك معكم السيدة فلورنس سرابيك من أجل المسابقة في ويكي تهوى إفريقيا. And Reda, Adel, if you want to help me translate this survey in 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 Arabic, I'm happy to to do it with you. السيدة Adel إذا تريد السيدة فلورنس أن تترجم السرعة إلى اللغة العربية هي مستعدة أن تقوم بذلك. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Mrs. Florence, for all the information you share with us. It's a pleasure to see you to participate with us in uh, Wiki Arabia. It's such an honor to us too. Thank you very much, Mrs. Florence, for your participation.